Okay, Spike, let's Spike. see what he has to offer. I'm Crane. Uh, just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One has food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. Yeah. But the next two Anderson drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. Okay. That's my part here. Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Hold or tap right to change weapons and left to change equipment. Here we go. Okay. So what I can do here is this. Yep. I guess I can't equip. I was going to try to equip the med kit. I guess you can't. Huh. All right. Prepare a trap for Brecken's mission. Looting is the key to survival. Search dead bodies, chests, and abandoned cars, pieces of furniture, or even trash bins to find crafting components, weapons, and money. Hold X, use your survivor sense to identify items you can loot. Search the environment for huge locked chests left by other survivors. They're usually placed on rooftops beyond the reach of zombies and contain weapons or other valuable things. Okay. Good to know. So as long as you're on top of a building, you're safe. So you cycle through your inventory, right? I don't have anything else to cycle through for gadgets, so... Alright, I guess I'll start heading down the street. gas pipe nailed plank string okay <laughs> what the fuck I hit him in the balls I hit him in the balls with the gas tank <laughs> okay. Go for a little stroll here. Well, there's the car I'm supposed to get to, I guess. Okay, first, the car. Open the hood, connect the battery, that'll arm the trap. Okay. Is anyone outside right now? Urgent help needed. Um, I'm outside. I'm working for Spike. You're great, right? Listen, our runners tried to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Vefa and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. Alright, I'm on it. Alright, we gotta help someone over here. Trapped survivor. <sighs> And I ran right off where I was supposed to go.
Okay. So far, so good. Looks like you can parkour this way. Nice. Nicely done. Aha! Lock pick. To pick a lock, move the pin with left uh, thumbstick and rotate the screwdriver with right thumbstick to turn the lock. If the pin begins to vibrate and might break, don't force it. It's kind of like Fallout. What did I get? Oh, a dead zombie. A gas pipe and cigarettes. I can't pick up the gas pipe. I think my inventory is fucking full already. Let's see. Gas pipe. No, I have two empty spots. What does this do? Oh, you sell it for 50 bucks. Oh, uh, they're not letting me pick up the gas pipe even though it's right there. That's nice. That was definitely worth it. A saw blade. You can craft a new item. What can I craft? Throwing stars. Let's try this. We crafted the throwing stars. And how can I equip that? Oh yeah, they are equipped. Look. Throwing stars. And that. Okay. I don't know how to use equipment though. What's the button command for using equipment? Ah, oh, it doesn't say. That's good. Controller view. Ah, okay. Uh. Let's see, let's see. Use equipment. L2 uses equipment. Okay, good to know. Okay. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. I guess I'm supposed to take these infected out. Yeah, look. This guy's got no fucking arm. Look at him. She's a looker. Nice head head explosion. Okay. 17 bucks. Whoa. Inventory is full. Oh, it's weapons. They're just weapons, that's all. Okay. Knock, knock. Uh-oh. Sounds like he turned. Yep. Man, I think it's too late for this guy. Shit. All right. Okay, it's done. Oh, it's a wrench. Fuck. All right, can I drop this? How do I drop this? Uh, drop. There we go. I have no choice. He wasn't human anymore. Oh wait, it's the wrong one. Now hurry. You still need to turn on. What the hell am I using then? Plain pipe. The lights. That's the only way yeah. to make this place safe at night. The adjustable wrench. It's a rare item. Look. A rare item that does tons of damage. Huh. That's the power right there. What's this? A blueprint. Learn how to craft 230 volt? What the hell is that? Pick up a blueprint. Search for components to craft the weapon. 230 volt. It's a rare item. Look at this. When you want to take someone down but send a message, you're not worth a bullet. So you could craft a special if you use a long knife or a short knife and then certain components. Okay.
All right, so this is a new safe zone now. Ah, shit. How's it coming? Got the lights on? Uh, almost. Just give me a second. Uh-oh. Didn't work? I gotta go up there. Huh. How the hell do I get up there? There's a zombie waiting for me. more. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck you. Oh, electronics. Wow, nice. Nothing in here? Nope. Okay, heading up. Inventory full. It's another, or just more uh, weapons. You can't quick swap inventory. You're serious. Like, if you find a good item that you want that's better than what you're using, you can't quick swap it. Why? What the hell? I don't get it. It's weird. This is apparently nothing, even though it looks like one of the things you can lockpick. That's weird. It told me to go up. Okay. Crane here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zara. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. Hmm. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane, thank you. Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Okay. Another car this way. That's it down there, but it's surrounded by zombies. Look. The infected are all over the street. So what does that tell you? Keep off the street. Try to stay on the rooftops where they can't reach you. Well, they're all around the car, Spike. You still have some firecrackers, don't you? Just throw some into the crowd. Those dead bastards are easily distracted. Okay. We'll try this. Keep moving. That one right there is pissing me off. Oh, 
Huh. Well, I guess he's attacking me. Firecracker didn't work. And I'm running out of firecrackers, which isn't good. Look, a few of them aren't distracted at all by the firecracker. So already this mechanic isn't working. Look, they're completely frozen, not paying any attention. Great. Look, they're not moving. They're glitched. Already there's a glitch in the game. There's four or five zombies right there that are not paying attention to the firecracker no matter what I do. What a great game mechanic. It immediately doesn't fucking work right at the beginning of the game. String. What can I craft? Another lockpick is all. Alright. Oh, we're more throwing stars. Damn it, I'm trying to get on top of this building. Aerosol. Oh, shut up, you. <coughs> Look, the zombies still won't turn. Look, I was right. Those zombies are stuck there permanently. They're not moving. And, of course, this is the car I have to do. <clears throat> this is fucking... Ugh, already. Already bullshit. We just started. Oh, I fell off even though I'm right here. Look. I can't climb this building. The game won't let me. <laughs> hey, look, you fall. Alright, now it's working, but now I only have two fucking firecrackers left. And this guy's not moving at all, look! All done with the car, Spike. A lot of firecrackers. Spike, these freaks are everywhere. If I need to use a trap, how do I activate it? You can't. I told you. They're only for the night mission. Shit. Okay. Alright, we're gonna try to get to this next trap quickly. here. What the fuck is it? Up there. Where the fuck do I get up here? Uh, how do I get up there? This way.
Aha! Agility level up. Okay, we got a new agility. The agility tree allows you to outrun your opponents. To increase your agility level, perform climbs, jumps, or other free-running moves to use skills from the agility tree. So it's dodge. Dodge incoming attacks by move jumping sideways or backwards. Move in the desired direction. I press R1 to execute. So R1 is my dodge. All right. Quite a contraption you got here. Three times as brighter than an ordinary street lamp. Gives the effect of quite the sunburn. right here. Ah. There we go. Ooh. Okay, I guess we gotta go this way, across the tracks, huh?